Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Unison. We would like to remind you that the use of any alcoholic beverages is strictly encouraged. Please take a moment to turn up your volume and share this live stream with everyone you know. Now would you give the warmest welcome to our host, Naibi's artistic director, Wen Yang. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Unison, Naibi season on screen. How's it going? It's April and the flowers are blooming. It just makes me so happy. Um, I think it, I've never noticed it as much or appreciated it as much, which made me think maybe I've been a brat and just has been taking what the earth does for us for granted. So I'm thinking right now to give it back a little. I want to start doing things, um, small steps that's easily adaptable into my lifestyle um, to make this earth a better place or at least do less damage. So if you have any tips, write it in, in comments. I would love to hear about them. Um, so for a while now, I've been trying not to order as much stuff online or also just try buying less in general, less uh, consuming less goods. Um, I think I could definitely take one or two days out of a week from eating meat. I try to buy organics. But don't you think they should just outlaw pesticides already? I don't know politics, but maybe it's not possible. Um, I also, when I'm shopping in supermarkets, I try to prioritize locally produced goods. Um, but I actually have a question. So if the berries have already been flowed into the store, is it still helpful to not buy them? I'm thinking maybe because if enough people don't buy them, they'll get a message and they'll stop flying them. Is that an argument? I haven't done re enough research on this. So if you are knowledgeable on this topic, let me know. I would love, um, I would love to be educated. Another reason I love Vapro is because my daughter was born in April two years ago. So I will forever associate April as excitement, um, hope, and change for the better. I mean, I kind of knew being a parent would be fun but I had no idea that this little creature would teach me so many important life lessons. And she's introduced me to this whole dimension of love I would have never experienced. And she's made me a stronger and better person. Oh, he taught me to be in the moment be present, not dwell on things in the past, um, and always look at things with fresh eyes and curiosity to always think outside the box, think creatively, think innovatively, and to have fun, and to have fun just because it is fun. So I will be celebrating all these things this month. Uh, hey, did you have a nice Seder? Were you finally able to hug your family? You know, I thought I would be the last person to get uh, the vaccine because I just feel like there's so many people need it before me. And also I'm in a relatively insulated environment. I don't have to go outside until the food runs out. Um, but actually I got my first shot this week just by um, 
showing up at the right place at the right time. Uh, they were they had extra doses in the Walgreens here, and they were looking for people to take them. So yeah, I'm a member of the club now. So now it seems that there will be an end to all this. How do you feel? Um, I am definitely excited about going back into the world. But somewhere back there, I also feel ever so slightly anxious, maybe just because I haven't seen anybody, I haven't talked to anybody for so long. Would I have anything to say? I also just feel like my brain has just been hijacked by, I guess, um, how to entertain a toddler all the time. I was thinking, are we giving her enough stimulation? Are we teaching her enough? What about potty train? What about schools? People start asking me my plans for school. I'm like, what? District? Zone? Immersion? Public? Private? So these words, there's a constantly fire at me. I think I have no other capacities to think about other things. Even when I do get a moment to myself, I forgot what I used to enjoy doing. Um, but I am excited. I am excited to going back to be with other humans, no doubt. So today, we're going to share my personal favorite out of the six cello suites, number four in E flat major. So if you think of the six cello suites, um, I mean, two, I kind of think of them as the first three are quite, you know, conventional, but somehow starting from the fourth one, things kind of start to go haywire a little bit. Bach definitely start to uh, be more creative and take more risk and be more innovative in his writing. So this one uh, opens with this giant leap. The first two notes of the prelude are two octaves apart. I mean, who, who does that? I think Bach just wants us to know that we're in for drama. Um, I also, to me, this prelude has an a before and after. It starts all good and well with this beautiful chord progression and kind of in the middle point, it suddenly stops on a C sharp, a low C sharp that's second to the last the lowest note on the cello. And also C sharp in the key of E flat is just bonkers. Even if you're not a music major, you know it's so far from the realm of this key, something bad happened. And from that point on, things kind of loses control and it breaks down, it goes crazy, it tries to find its way back, kind of struggles a little bit. Eventually it does end on its home key chord, an E flat major chord. Um, I don't want to tell you too much because there's so much I want to say about this, uh, this suite. It's so special to me. And it also happens to be performed by my favorite cellist, Ezra Seltzer. Um, he's not here right now because he's playing with our daughter outside so I can do this with you. Um, but he does want you to take a guess what his favorite movement would be. So I will tell you after we hear Ezra's performance of Box Cello Suite Number no. 4 in E flat major. Thank you. 
I think that does it. It was so good, wasn't it? Thank you, Ezra, for sharing this recording with us. And special thanks to our neighbors, Jim and Don, for watching our toddler while we made this recording. Um, so, what was your favorite movement? I'm afraid Sarah was right. Um, Ezra's favorite movement is the second berry because it's full of wit. And it's just so happy. It makes you want to dance. And I do hope you got up and danced. Guys, thank you so much for being with us this whole season. This has not been an easy time for everyone. There has been so many new challenges for everyone. So thank you for sticking it through with us. Um, and thank you for all your comments. Um, yes, I agree. Ezra did a beautiful, beautiful job. I can tell you firsthand, it is not easy to practice and to record something that you're proud of with a toddler running around. So thank you for your positive comments. Um, and thank you for being here. And special thanks to our top Patreon supporters. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Unison. Sorry, I was trying to control my computer and it got away from me. I can feel it. Exciting things are happening. So do keep following us um, to find out what's coming up with Nibi. And do keep writing to me. Your words and thoughts mean so much to us. Um, and stay well. We're getting through this. I know it. So happy Easter, happy Mother's Day, and happy 4th of July. I can't wait to see you face to face. This has been Nighty Unison. I will see you soon. Bye.